welcome to On This Day in Tudor History with me, Claire Ridgway, author of On This Day in Tudor History. Now, today I'm taking you back to the reign of Queen Mary I. But on this day in Tudor history, the 20th of October, 1557, or possibly the 21st of October, courtier Mary Arundel died at Bath Place in London. Mary is an interesting Tudor lady. Not only did she serve at least two of Henry VIII's wives, but she was a countess twice over, having been married to the Earl of Sussex and the Earl of Arundel. Let me tell you a bit more about this Tudor Mary. Mary's birth date is not known, but she was the only child of Sir John Arundel of Lanhern in Cornwall and his second wife, Catherine Grenville. Her father had been made a Knight of the Bath in Henry VII's reign and had served the king fighting against the Cornish rebels in 1497. And then he'd served his son, King Henry VIII, in France at the siege of Terouanne in 1513. Mary made her debut at Henry VIII's court in 1536, when she served the king's new wife, Jane Seymour, as a maid of honour. She also served Anne of Cleves before moving into the service of Henry VIII's eldest daughter, Mary. In January 1537, Mary married Robert Radcliffe, first Earl of Sussex, becoming a stepmother to his children from his previous two wives. With Sussex, Mary had two sons, one born in 1538 who died in infancy, and another John, born in 1539. Sussex died in 1542, and in 1545, Mary went on to marry Henry Fitzalan, Earl of Arundel, as his second wife. They didn't have any children. While they were married, Mary's husband, Arundel, went on to serve Henry VIII as Lord Chamberlain and a Privy Councillor, and he was High Constable at King Edward VI's coronation, as he was at the coronations of Mary I and Elizabeth I. He ended up being arrested after the fall of Edward Seymour, Lord Protector, but only spent a year in the Tower. In July 1553, following the accession of Lady Jane Grey, Arundel and his fellow Privy Councillor William Herbert, Earl of Pembroke, were responsible for turning the Royal Council against Queen Jane and proclaiming for Mary instead. He was also the man sent by Mary I to arrest Jane's father-in-law, John Dudley, Duke of Northumberland. He became a firm favourite of Queen Mary, but did not enjoy the same favour in Elizabeth's reign. He did not remarry and died in 1580. In the past, Mary Arundel has been confused with her stepdaughter, Arundel's daughter Mary, who married Thomas Howard, 4th Duke of Norfolk, and who's known for her classical learning and translations of works. Mary has also been confused with Margaret Ackland, Lady Arundel. And although a drawing of Lady Radcliffe by Hans Holbein the Younger is often said to be her, there were several Lady Radcliffes, so we don't know the true identity of the sitter. Mary died on the 20th or 21st of October 1557 and was laid to rest at St Clement Danes Church. However, at some point she was moved to the Fitzalan Chapel at Arundel Castle. Mary was outlived by her second husband, the Earl of Arundel, and her only son, John, who'd been knighted in 1547 following Edward VI's succession and went on to serve as a Member of Parliament in Elizabeth I's reign. He never married and died childless in 1568. Now, tomorrow, I'll be taking you back to 1536 in King Henry VIII's reign and telling you all about a meeting between a herald, armed peasants and a rebel leader. Do make sure you subscribe by clicking round about here and hit the bell to be notified so that you don't miss out on that video. Also on this day in Tudor history, the 20th of October, 1536, Thomas Darcy, 1st Baron Darcy, yielded Pontefract Castle to the rebels of the Pilgrimage of Grace. However, all was not as it seemed, as Darcy and others in the castle were actually sympathetic to the rebel cause. Find out more about the situation at Pontefract Castle, the letters Darcy wrote to King Henry VIII, what happened on the night of the 19th of October and morning of 20th of October, and why Darcy came to a sticky end in last year's video. You'll find a link to that video in the description for this video. Thank you for joining me. The bells are ringing out for me, so 
That's a reminder, I think, to hit the bell to be notified. You can also leave me a comment and give me a like. Thank you. See you soon. Bye-bye.